Okay. Um, I posted two videos today and the quality of the, the video is just awful. I guess this camera that I was shooting with doesn't have any sort of stabilization um, and it's the shakiest it's the shakiest footage I think I've ever seen <laughs> but um, you know the content of those videos I, I still wanted to publish them for a few reasons but um, I've had I don't know a month and a half two months since I, I posted anything about the dreams that God has been giving me and I've had so many challenges and distractions I would say and some of them are self-induced but it's been a, a supernatural battle and my camera it it got stolen um, I've had this that camera for eight years or more um, maybe 10 years it wasn't really worth anything um, you know if you're gonna pawn it so I I felt like the way it was stolen was a, a spiritual attack um, and I've seen some of the comments on YouTube and other people that have referenced my dreams um, other Christian believers who you know have referenced me or the, some of the things that God showed me and it really not for it to be about you know vanity or or self-importance but it I don't want to say it humbled me but I was very grateful that God would be able to use what he's shown me to to change someone's life and a lot of these things haven't manifested yet and there's a lot of uh, youtubers they talk about the wealth transfer like it's a stimulus check or a welfare check or something you know like when you get your wealth transfer it's and I, I get it when I hear people, especially in the body of Christ or the church, using a, a term or a word so much that it starts to lose its meaning, I, I've always been kind of a nonconformist in my own way. I don't like using the same term over and over to where it loses meaning. Um, but there's people that have made some predictions about timing like it was going to be some instant, uh, you know, transaction. <clears throat> and I started to have a bit of, of anxiety and fear lately about the withdrawal process and with this FTX crash. I had an account with FTX. I never funded it. I had contemplated sending money over there to try to diversify so that when the time comes, you know, your daily withdrawal limits are going to restrict uh, how much money you can pull off per day. So the implication of that is that you're probably going to want to have several accounts and be withdrawing money at several different sell points or, or target uh, sell limit orders. So like with Luna Classic, I was thinking, I'm not going to take profits until, you know, what this number that God showed me. Otherwise, I would be disobedient. But I started looking at the, the daily withdrawal limits and going, well, man, either I need to spread this out on some other exchanges um, or I need to start taking profits sooner. So this is, I'm just talking out loud thinking out loud I've wanted to post videos about so many different subjects I've got this new memory card and a new camera well the camera is very disappointing the quality I shot those videos today as a test and they were 
I mean, I was trying to be funny and just share some things from my life with anyone who would be interested. Uh, and uh, anyway, but I have some important things that I want to share that were visions from God that are, they keep, I keep getting a deeper sense of the revelation of these things that God has shown me. And I mean, he showed me years ago um, or two years ago or one year ago. And, and so I want to share this information and I will soon, but when my camera got stolen, I felt discouraged. It was almost like the devil was trying to stop me from giving the message that I know God has deposited into me. And then I'm watching other YouTubers in the meantime, uh, Christian believers in the prophetic community, seeing some people calling dates and getting it wrong and people debating about that. Then the FTX exchange collapsing. Um, I, I know there were people that lost a lot of money, at least now they can't access it. And with all that being said, I started getting a little bit more fearful of my exit strategy. So this is, you know, my prayer moving forwards is for wisdom in that area um, there's there's several individuals who are sharing information about that and talking about it and it really should be you know an open dialogue I've been wondering if I should get uh, another account with the with an exchange and then when the FTX collapsed you saw what it did to the to the market well God gave me that flash crash dream and I think I posted that video back in September and other believers have have had dreams about it I didn't believe it when I heard other people talk about it and then God gave me that dream and it's like okay well uh, I know this was from the Lord well, when you see an exchange like FTX collapse and, and all the things that have come to light about, there was some wickedness going on. So in the, in the wealth transfer believer community, people are saying the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. You know, uh, well, the FTX organization was a money laundering fraud scam you know they had it down to a science and it's it's really crazy that this all just played out in real time and here we are believing in God that Shiba Inu is gonna hit I mean he showed me 13 cents uh, and people think Oh, well, you know, when it hits a dollar, if you've got 50 million Shiba Inu, okay, and it hits a dollar, Lord willing, and you have 50 million dollars, how are you going to get that money? You know, KuCoin has limits on what you can withdraw. Coinbase has limits. What if you have it in Tether, USDT, as your stable coin, and Tether collapses? You know, what if you had it all on FTX and it collapses and there's a hack? So we need some supernatural. Hold on, there's a truck behind me. I need to let it pass. Go ahead. Must be somebody I know. Anyway, uh, these are serious questions and people are talking about it like. It's some check, some stimulus check that you're just going to get. And yeah. so I don't want to be too fearful. I don't want to be complacent. I don't want to think that just because I have my sell orders in place that my strategy is complete. So please pray for me. 
uh, for wisdom and pray for all of us to have wisdom um, because when things like this happen, the second biggest exchange collapsing, people can say, well, take your crypto off line. Well, then how are you going to sell it, it's your sell orders? And, and some of these, these dreams that I've had and others have had is that some of this will be sudden. Some of it could happen while you're sleeping. I mean, you could wake up and some of this stuff have, have already taken place. I, I've seen it play out in a smaller scale with certain things. So I hope this, I'm not trying to cause confusion posting this video. I just, I think people need to take it seriously and realize it's, there's a process. Um, and we're going to have to use wisdom and have the guidance of the Lord. We're going to have to use the proper channels. If you choose the wrong channel, all of your assets can be basically seized, stolen. So, um, anyway, I'm not trying to be depressing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a lot to think about. So I've reached out to a few Christian brothers and I'm hopefully going to have a conversation with a brother in the Lord that I respect and I, I trust him that he hears from God. And uh, the other thing about this, you know, people are saying this money is, you know, to build God's kingdom on earth and establish his kingdom. And I, I, I agree. He has plans and purposes um, for us, but one of the reasons I think God is doing this is because of the stuff we saw happening with FTX. Um, there is there's there's more corruption. You can't keep track of all the corruption. You could have a full time job as a a a journalist just digging up these story after story, politician after politician, celebrity after celebrity, institution after institution. I mean, there's so much corruption, even within our elections and financial. It's just so knowledge of that is not going to really help you. The direction God is, is pointing us Lord willing, is, is going to be financial deliverance, but I believe it's coming to solve, uh, for me personally, that there's going to be a, a famine, a, a great, severe famine, and a severe time of darkness in that what God has called me to is to become aware of this battle and so instead of thinking of this wealth transfer as a deposit into your account, right? It's a war. It's, it's a battle. Um, that's, it's, and the stakes are as high as... There's a war going on now in the heavens. A lot of people say, you know, Jesus has already, has already won. But I guarantee everyone listening to this video is going through some things in their life that is a battle. I have, I have been, in the past three to four months of my life, stretched more than at any season of my life. I have been getting angry. I have been raising my voice more than ever. My fuse, I already had a short fuse. I, I have been stretched in so many ways in my, my, my checklist for the things that I need to do, right? It gets longer and, and I'm just, you know, I'm just, it's like treading water and being in a hamster wheel at the same time is, is what it can feel like. And I do know that God has given me a dream and maybe this is the encouragement. He showed me that there is a season to come for me that is new. And, um, in the dream, the Lord showed me, I was sitting next to my future wife, and we were sitting side by side in a booth. 
um, almost like in a restaurant, and our hips in the dream were touching. They were making contact, and it was just sitting side by side to where we were touching. And uh, we opened up a menu type of a folder, like a folder or a pamphlet, but I guess you could say it was like a big menu. And the only thing that was written in there was, was new, the word new. Big, black, bold letters, new. And uh, then I leaned over and put my nose up to her ear, sort of in a, I, I guess you'd call it a romantic or intimate, just as effect, just, you know, in a uh, intimate gesture, so to speak. And that was this dream that, that God gave me just within two weeks. And so it's encouraged me that I'm going to have a season that is new. That the problems I'm going through now and, and the stresses I have now, they're, they're not going to be any, they're going to be no more. My, my life feels like a broken record. Um, and God gave me a dream about breaking the broken record. He's going to break the broken record. It's going to be my faith and the power of the Holy Spirit and the promises of God that break this broken record. But um, I have had some anxiety about the, the outcome of how to exit and manage this money because I believe I'm, I'm going to be an investment banker for God and I don't want to mess it up. So God bless everyone who watches this video. And I'm also praying that God will show me an XRP dream. I asked God to give me a dream about him, about him and his character. You know, I want to know the Lord more about what is, what is he really, what does he really want for me? Does he want me to get robbed and be pecked at? You know, I feel like there's just been vultures just pecking at me. Does he really want me to struggle? Is that really building the character? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I know I'm supposed to persevere through this stuff and, and most of it's first world problems, but it's been so relentless that I just, I would love to have a season of building up and establishing and um, seeing God move. I want a season of fatherhood. And so I've asked God to give me a dream about him. And that's, you know, that would be the best. And uh, I also want him to give me a dream about uh, my wife. And I want him to give me a dream about me, how he sees me. And if I can see how he sees me, and if he can give me a, a, a better, a more more revelation of, of him then I can stand against these daily cares you know and anxieties I think better because what's carrying me through the Word of God is carrying me through but really it's the, the visions the supernatural encounters that I've had with God that is carrying me through this season and holding on to what he's shown me. And some of this stuff is 10 years old. Which is a long time to hold on to a promise. Some of it's 12 years old. So. If this encourages anyone. Be encouraged in the Lord. God is, is doing a mighty thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be mighty. Let us stand together. And uh, in faith. And pray for more revelation. Amen. And God bless y'all.